Animal Crossing was originally planned as an RPG. Animal Crossing was originally planned as an RPG. Animal Crossing has two gender swapped characters. Animal Crossing has two gender swapped characters. S Japanese name is a play on Justin Bieber. Luna celebrates her birthday on leap day. Luna celebrates her birthday on leap day. Isable originally didn't have a name. Isable originally didn't have a name. The game gives a nod to a super fan. In Animal Crossing New Horizons, players are introduced to a new villager named Audie. This was done in tribute to 88-year-old grandmother Audrey Buchanan, who went viral for having a 3,500-hour save in Animal Crossing New Leaf. In Audrey's game, her mayor name is Audie. The English translation of Animal Crossing led to an update. Translating the original Animal Crossing game was a struggle for the writers behind the game. The English localization impressed many of the higher ups at Nintendo. In 2003, the company delivered Dabutsu no Mori E Plus to Japanese audiences. This version featured all the American content plus some bonus features. New Leaf was almost connected to Pocket Camp. Nintendo gave mobile gamers some love with the release of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. The game was originally planned to give players exclusive items for Animal Crossing New Leaf. This would have been possible thanks to the Welcome Amiibo update. But Pocket Camp's delayed release caused this connection to be scrapped. An Animal Crossing sequel was planned for the GameCube. Because of Animal Crossing's success, a sequel was in the works for the Nintendo Game U. Set for release in 2004, the highly anticipated follow-up was eventually cancelled. The main reason for its cancellation was the release of the Nintendo DS. The company wanted to take advantage of the new console and did so with 2005's Animal Crossing Wild World. Only two screenshots have been released of GameCube's Animal Crossing 2. You can play NES games in Animal Crossing. In 2001, Animal Crossing became a surprise hit on the Nintendo GameCube. This game allows players to play old-school NES classics like Donkey Kong and Clue Clue Land. Players can find these games in numerous ways, including gifts from villagers and Nintendo giveaways. Depending on the region, certain exclusive games can be unlocked. North American players, for example, can get Mario Bros. Animal Crossing was inspired by Katsuya Aguchi's move to Kyoto. After growing up in Chiba, Japan, Animal Crossing producer Katsuya Aguchi took a big leap when he left for Kyoto. This journey became the inspiration for the game. According to Nintendo Life, Aguchi stated in an interview with Edge magazine, Chiba is east of Tokyo and quite a distance from Kyoto, and when I moved there I left my family and friends behind. In doing so, I realized that being close to them, being able to spend time with them, talk to them, play with them was such a great, important thing. I wondered for a long time if there would be a way to recreate that feeling, and that was the impetus behind the original Animal Crossing. 
players can break into Tom Nook's shop. Tom Nook is like everyone else. He needs rest after a long day at the shop. The last thing he expects is to have someone breaking in. In the Japanese version of Animal Crossing, players can break into Nook's shop when it's closed. Unfortunately, Nook will catch them and charge them extra for goods. This didn't make it into the North American and European versions of the game. Here's a special alien broadcast. Animal Crossing New Leaf spooks players with a surprise visit from aliens. If you're playing the game at 3.33a, on Sundays and Mondays, your TV will become a static mess. After a while, you will see an alien appearing on the screen. For a minute, they deliver a weird message, which can be perceived as a possible invasion of the area. Resetti actually scares players. Resetti isn't a fan of folks not saving their game properly, and gets mad about it. The character manages to scare some players. Satoru Iwata, former president of Nintendo, said, It seems like younger female players, in particular, are scared. I've heard that some of them have even cried. Animal Crossing was originally on the Nintendo 64. Although Animal Crossing first found success on the Nintendo GameCube, the game made its debut on the Nintendo 64. Released only in Japan as Animal Forest, the Nintendo 64 version of Animal Crossing felt unfinished compared with the GameCube version. The main reason was the lack of an internal clock in the Nintendo 64, which developers tried to fix by placing a battery-backed clock in the Nintendo 64 cartridge. Unfortunately, the in-game clock would stop if the battery petered out. The Nintendo 64 version also didn't have such noticeable characters as the Abel sisters Mayor Tortimer, and Blathers, who were all added in the GameCube version. Animal Crossing is featured in WarioWare Smooth Moves. With Animal Crossing's success, the game has been seen inhabiting other Nintendo titles. The first Animal Crossing crossover took place in 2006's WarioWare Smooth Moves. The party game features a slew of minigames available for players. One minigame has the player trying to catch fish using a character from Animal Crossing Wild World. New Horizons references Super Mario's bloopers. Slider is based on the game's composer. Slider is based on the game's composer. There is an Animal Crossing movie. There is an Animal Crossing movie. Dharma dolls are based on Dharma dolls. Dharma dolls are based on Dharma dolls. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then take care bye